high end right there. High end. Oh, 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 wow. Oh, you gotta take a look at this. I forgot about this. I know what everyone's asking. What's in that case? What's in that case, Shane? I know what it is. Do I see a true antique? <laughs> How are we doing today, Robert Zaba Auctioneer Extraordinaire? And wow, 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 we have this auction come up high end antique collectible auction. And guys, you want to believe the stuff people give me. People give me stuff all the time to sell for them. And sometimes it's family heirlooms, things that have been passed down. And look at this World War One, unbelievable. Right now it's at $400. But I mean, look at all of the graphics on here. This guy's running right here. What is he running from? American artillery. And, I mean, there's all kind of stuff on here. And it's an unbelievable piece. One of a kind. What is it worth? What someone's willing to pay for. And that's why I love the auction business. And this auction truly has something for everyone. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. You're never going to see this kind of stuff any other channel out there. You need to subscribe. It's free. Easiest thing to do. Hit the bell. Get all your notifications. You guys don't want to miss a thing. And the best thing, we have this website, www.secondsense.com. All this stuff's up for auction Saturday, this Saturday, guys. So, I mean, look at this beautiful bronze statue. And we have auctions all the time. So, antique hair. Another antique hair. Antique coffee grinder lamps and then look at these pocket watches on and on this is lot number 13 beautiful unbelievable so i mean little things like that we can ship everywhere in the world so if you live somewhere out of, in the united states or out of the united states we ship international too so but these things we cannot ship but we have things like this in the auction right here this is a browning 22 caliber this is a target weapon. You have to be 21, no felonies, legal resident of the state of Ohio to purchase this. We got another one here. This is a nine millimeter. We got this old little shock in here. It's missing this little part on it. But hey, it's a cool little piece. And all this kind of stuff, like I said, you don't know what we're gonna have in there. It's just unbelievable. I know Shane, I think you're gonna bid on this. the tie-dye shirt so we have stuff like that literally for everybody tie-dye and then here's the best shirt i know this is the one shane wants you know what one it is -na 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 -na. wow unbelievable kiss alive shirt and i looked up the tour shirts i had i did not i seen the same shirt but it's all black I did not see one that had this design on it. So it probably makes it extremely rare. And who knows what this shirt's worth? $100, $200, $400? What someone's willing to pay for it? If you're a KISS fan, now's the time to buy it. I believe it's an extra large. Lamps, oh my gosh, guys. Teacups, you know? And a lot of this stuff, you're never gonna see it in the videos because people will bring me things. I don't show you everything that comes in. We sell so much. Stuff, that's why you need to check out the auctions all the time. We have something always up there for you guys. Look at this, it's called hobnail glass. Vaseline glass also, how it's, that color looks to it. People call that like Vaseline. And man, nice pieces. A lot of times there's Fenton, we have Pyrex here. So, antiques, collectibles, stuff you could actually just use. I mean, like that Pyrex little car casserole dish right here. You could still use that piece. The tea set, you could still use it. This nice little milk glass. Candlestick, creamer set, butter. You put it out for the holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas. All kind of great things. <clears throat> and who doesn't need a pencil sharpener? Vintage Boston one. You ever see one like this? Used to have them on the wall at school. Do they ever have the adjustable clamp on it? No, not like that. That's fancy. That's high end right there. High end. Oh, 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 wow. Oh, you got to take a look at this. I forgot about this. Oh, yeah. Now, you want to see a rare piece of American history 
this right here, May New Haven, Connecticut, Winchester. You notice an issue with this gun? There's no trigger. It's actually a triggerless little gun. And I guess it was made for people riding on horseback. They could pull it out and shoot quickly and grab it like this and didn't have to worry about. So you would actually, this is the trigger right here, activating the trigger. So very different, rare type of gun. And gun collectors, that's the kind of thing you want. You're going to, something other people don't have. And that's a rare piece. So man, there's so many awesome things. You guys really need to check out the auction. We can't go through every item. I think there's over 500 lots, but I got to show you some more stuff. Then we even have musical instruments. Take a look at this vintage Epiphone bass viola, I guess. It says up here. Very cool piece. And it has that awesome, awesome finish on there. Unbelievable condition. And unfortunately, this came from a gentleman that passed away. And we sold a lot of stuff for his sister. He played this guitar. Loved the guitar. But now it gets the great thing about my job is I get to take this stuff and find someone else that's going to love it, appreciate it like he did. And that's what we try to do. And hopefully you'll see some stuff in this video. I'm sure there's so much stuff in this auction. You're going to see something that you're going to want. All right, like we said, the holiday is coming, and what would be better than look at this. Beautiful, beautiful flatware sets. All these are silver plate. We have two great sets in the auction. But you put these out, your family, they might think you hit the lottery. Wait, you might not want to put it out. So some beautiful stuff. And I think this is all kind of old advertising pieces down here. We have artwork, signed pieces of photos and art. And there's some really, really nice art down. You guys really have to check out the auction. And you know, there's always great deals and things that you're never going to see anywhere else besides our website. Look at that carving set. <clears throat> Could you imagine busting it out to carve up the turkey, the roast beef? Think about it, Shane. You come into the party like this, walk in. They're like, what's in that case? Hold on, everybody. Step back. I got this. Dun, dun. They're like, wow, Shane. I mean, that's how you make a statement. People are going to remember that, Shane. Remember for all time. And then look at all of these stamps. Tons and tons of stamps. And the great thing about stamps, you could buy these. Not only are they collectible, they're actually still good. You can actually mail somebody a letter. Imagine that. I mean, there's a whole collection of stamps on this table. We even got cast iron. Look at this piece. Detroit Stowe Works. Old, old little piece. Cast iron beetle. I guess it's probably use it for an ashtray, coins, paper clips, whatever you really want to use it for. Oh, yeah, I forgot about these. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Cool little walking, but that one is not as cool as this one. What does it say? They're free. Coinage. Oh. Look at that. Once again, you put that case in that hand chain, the cane in the other hand, you walk in. Thanksgiving, think about it. Strolling in your girlfriend's house, man. Her parents would be like, oh, relatives, like, man, who's this guy? He's got style. He's got class. That's what I'm talking about. The other great thing about my job and why I love my job is I get to find and see almost everything, but also vintage, vintage, and antique toys and brings people right back to that time in their life. It's like, wow, I remember that. And we have these old trains here, all kind of different Lionel pieces here, the little Lionel caboose. You know, I mean, this transformer here, one of the best transformers ever made in the world, this Lionel transformer here. And we got decorative pieces for the train stuff. Look at this old savings bank right here. Uncle Sam little bank. And I remember when these, when I was a kid, you put your money in there. Psh, my brothers had them. Oh, yeah, look at this. Hop along Cassidy wristwatch. Think about that. Hop along Cassidy wristwatch. I mean, all kinds of stuff. Look at these tractors over here. <clears throat> and look at this. Tractors right next to beautiful pieces of art glass. 
these paperweights right here. I mean, look at that. It's just the design. I mean, who wouldn't want a hand-blown glass rooster for Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa? Whatever you want to give it to them for, give it to them. But you could buy here and then, oh, man, oh, look at this. Carnival glass pink. Probably Fenton. I don't know. Let's get the glass down there. You guys tell me in the comments. But just so many cool things. And I know what everyone's asking. What's in that case? What's in that case, Shane? I know what it is. Do I see a true antique? <laughs> Look at that. That's like an old clarinet. And I've seen a lot out there, but this piece right here. I don't know if that's ivory, bone, what it could be. You know, it looks like it's a natural piece. And that's where you would, maybe it's a fife. Is that what it's called? Hmm. Fife. Not yeah, Barney fife. You don't know what Barney fife is. I'm going to tell you. Look at this little coach purse here. Mickey Mouse watches. So much more stuff. And I didn't even get under, I mean, the underneath table here is all kind of awesome instruments. And an erector set. Yes. I mean, well, I gotta show you at least one. Did you know I could play the French horn? I don't know if this is a French horn, but I think it's a French horn. Where did I talk about an old toy here? Look at this Gilbert Toy Sci Fi Adventures. And this is a really, really beautiful set right here. I mean, i never seen it. I mean, it looks like it was never even taken out. This looks like how you'd probably get it from the store almost. Never seen one with the pins in there and everything else. Yeah, that's a nice little Rector set. A Rector set engineers, it says. So, I always wanted to build some stuff with the Rector set, but I haven't had the time. Would that be kind of a cool video to make? You know, take a look at this little hand-painted chair. You know, and that's the thing. We sell everything and anything, and you know, we buy storage units. We do hoarder houses and estates and all kinds of stuff. And look at all this military things right here. Grand bayonet. And see all that? That's oil they put on there, and they put thick coating of oil and stuff for this won't rust. Right there in the United States, M81. These are all bayonets that you put on the end of a rifle. If you run out of bullets, this is World War II. And then here, we actually have an old, really old knife. Very collectible. You know, probably a $50 bill. <clears throat> and right here, oh, what is this? Is this what I think it is? When do you see this, when do you see this? Dun, dun, dun. Is there a wear gas on the core? No. I can feel the air come through the filter. The filter, I guess, hopefully still good. Okay. Woo! I mean, what other job can you get? Put a, put a gas mask on by looking at antique glass, touching a bayonet next to the studio it doll. Only in this business. I don't even know what this is. I didn't even see this thing. <laughs> Looks like some kind of military old canister. And uh, see, there's things I don't even know that are here. Oh, no. Another gas mask. And that one has that cool kind of look, you know. When you put in a haunted house or something, you put that on a mannequin and you put it in your... You know, if you have a military setup or something, you put that gas mask on. And the canister itself is really cool. You can just tell vintage goodness right there. So, I mean, gas mask and this thing I thought was awesome. They took the old port mirror and they put Silent Shane in it. Yeah, I'm not Silent Shane. I'm Super Shane! The one person asked me, they said, Do you and Jeremy give Shane and Christian the same thing and tell them not to talk? <laughs> no, we tell them to talk. Look at this. You know what this is? Union Pacific. Is that for spitting them? That's right. It's it all. Spit tune. 
So yeah, a lot of people used to chew tobacco back in the day, so they actually have a place for you to spit. You just didn't spit everywhere, you spit. And you gotta throw your tobacco somewhere. And the machete. So that's a nice old rusty, dusty machete. And then we got jewelry, more pocket watches right here. I mean, this, look at this. Hold on, let me show you this, guys. Oh, hey, I'll show you one of these. This is 1906 Cleveland Directory. Tell that friend. So, I mean, 1906 ice cream. Sold everywhere. Advertisement, all kind of cool stuff. I mean, just holding history in your hand. Then we got right next to it, we got United States Navy medals. And, ooh, harmonica. <clears throat> Sorry, I was trying to put my lips on it. All right, I'll practice. I'll go back to practice, Mike. Don't be yelling at me. I'll get ready for the band, man. When are we playing out, Mike? Uh, soon. Soon. I can't wait. We'll be playing out soon. And then look at things full of costume jewelry, bracelets, casino tokens. And then we got B -b 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 Batman. -na 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 -na. And then look at these tin cars, tin toys. Look at this old tin right here. It says the old timer. So. Old tin, and this is an old whiskey decanter and another erector set. <clears throat> Xbox, who knows? So much stuff. Wait, did I show you what else we got on the other side? Take a look right here the amusement park, erector set, and you know, all kind of pieces and parts in here. I don't see the motor in there, but you buy the other one, you can put the motor between the both of them. I'm sure you could build almost everything on here. And you got the old book. Look at this kid. You know, he was having a great time with the rector set. And guys, I forgot, I want to show you a couple more things before we went over there. It's right here, the Seaboard Lionel set in the box. Beautiful Lionel set. We got antique scale down here, this old, old, cool jewelry box right here. And it is heavy duty, well made, solid, solid. The front, oh yeah, here's the front. Oh. It's heavier than I'm telling you. When I first got it, I was like, oh, this ain't that heavy. Oh, it's heavy. It all opens up. You know, I see a lot of jewelry boxes, but this is one of the fanciest ones I'd have to say I've seen. And then remote control. Cars. Vintage goodness. Two of those. So much more. What do you see? Look at this. 1950s United Nations. Stamped 1959. <clears throat> Complete book here. Look how nice that is. 1962. I guess so. But I, mean, I think almost every page here, boom, boom, has stamps, stamps, stamps. And then right here, yes, salt and pepper shaker and Batman cookie jar. Da -na 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 -na. Cookies, cookies. Who wouldn't want some cookies? So we got the Batman cookie jar here, antique books, wood carved pachyderm. Are these sterling silver? Holy smoke. These are sterling silver, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't even see these in the auction. There's a pair of these weighted sterling silver. Beautiful candles, sticks, or candelabras. You want to sound fancy, Shane? When you go to that Thanksgiving party, like, yeah. I brought the candelabras. Hold on. You whip out the candelabras, little matches. People are like, what the heck is that? A match. They haven't even seen a match for, what, 30 years? And then, guys, all these are actually pellet guns, BB guns. Oh, man. <clears throat> uh oh. Oh, there it goes. Shoot your eye out, kid. Don't mess with it. But yeah, that's the great thing about having your own building. This is the classic Red Rider BB gun. This one you wouldn't even think is an 
air gun, but it is an air gun. You can pop, pop it at multiple times. And, oh, hold on, I think the, oh, there it goes. Safety was on. And then this one, one of the craziest air guns out there. If you did not know better, you would not think this is an air rifle, would you? It even looks like a real rifle. You actually pull this down like this on the back end. Boom. Very powerful. So guys, I mean, we have so much different kinds of stuff from books, air rifles, and right here, Hollywood legend. Barbie doll, Scarlet O'Hare, Dawn with the Wind, brand new in the box. We have Hot Wheels right back here, brand new Hot Wheels, Waterford Crystal, unbelievable piece of the porcelain, pottery, Snoopy, Santa Claus, Peanuts chess game, and then look at that Pyrex right there. Remember I told you you could buy this stuff and still use it, and vintage Pyrex is huge, it's in, and this is one of the best sets. I mean, the other thing is about condition, and look at the condition of this. This stuff looks like it just came out of the box. Like it was never used. Because you a lot of times this would be worn and scratched. I mean, unbelievable condition. And then we even have Barjo figurines here. Beautiful piece of china. Oh, I forgot about all these. I might not go to work the rest of the day. The old kaleidoscope collection. I'm seeing if I can find one you guys could enjoy. This one you might be able to see. Let's see. Get it up there, Shane. Is that the right one? Yeah. You guys get to enjoy the kaleidoscope one more time. How'd it come out? Good? Pretty good. So, I mean, what other channel are you going to get to see a kaleidoscope? Right here, second. So, once again, if you have a scrap, you guys got to scrap. Give it a thumbs up. Watch our videos from beginning to end. You also need to check out the website because all this stuff is up for auction here. I and mean, look at this. We got the dragon right next to the Royal Duke. And so much more. I mean, there's glass, there's china, there's toys, there's Buddha. There's Buddha. There's jewelry. There's, oh man, that's one of my favorites. Dean Martin. The crooner himself. Everyone loves Dean. And he sings along. He could sing with Dino. And man, I've had a few of these before. Always sell well. I mean, who wouldn't want that in their collection? Put them up, push a button, let them sing away for you guys. So, I mean, man, I'm just looking at all this awesome stuff. Like I said, think about that first thing the World War I helmet. One of a kind. Items like that. This glassware, China. Vintage toys, erector sets, stamps, paintings, on and on and on. Guys, so much awesome stuff. Really, check out the website. We ship everywhere in the world. If you never checked out the website before, check it out. It's actually under construction, so who knows? Is But you'll get there. Go to www.secondsense.com. We have this auction next Saturday. Awesome vintage toys. Brand new stuff. I mean, right here is a little sample of that auction coming up. But these are Hot Wheels over here, bobbleheads. We have tons of brand new Barbies. Look at this, the Grease Barbie. And this auction will be coming up, not this week, but the following week. And I know there's all kind of die cast in there. I mean, there's tons and tons of toys. And then we're working on the comic book auction. Guys, like I said, there's so many awesome auctions. So you always got to take a look at our website. So much great stuff coming up. You just never know what you're going to see. Never know what we're going to find. I appreciate every single one of you out there. Thank you so much. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day.